Tonight, a Detroit man is recovering after nearly being killed by a pack of dogs. His injuries are so extensive, doctors say he'll have to undergo dozens of operations. The vicious attack happened October 2nd on Detroit's east side in the 4500 block of Pennsylvania. Police had to kill one of the pit bulls to get it to stop attacking the victim. The dog's owner was arrested on an unrelated charge but was released a few days later. Now the victim is fighting back with the help of a well-known local law firm. Fox 2's Marielle Liu live in the newsroom right now with that part of the story. Marielle? Yeah, that's right, Monica. The civil suit was filed in Wayne County Circuit Court today. The complaint says the attack was so vicious, EMS workers didn't even get out of the ambulance until police arrived on the scene for backup. The victim lost three limbs but still hopes to live a normal life. I promised him that he would be able to use his arms again and he will be able to walk somehow. It's been almost a month since 50-year-old Stephen Constantine was brutally attacked. These court documents say he was nearly eaten alive by 12 pit bulls in this east side neighborhood. This case isn't about pit bulls, it's about people. It's about how people take responsibility for their actions. The Constantine family is represented by legal titan Mark Bernstein, who says the family is seeking significant damages from 61-year-old Derek Felton, who owns the dogs, and his mother, who owns the house where the attack took place. Bernstein says it's a clear-cut case under Michigan's dog bite law. There was no provocation, there was no trespassing. All the typical defenses that are available to a defendant in this type of a case are not available to Derek. Stephen Constantine is in surgery every two to three days. He's in stable condition, but doctors say it will be at least 35 more surgeries to try and piece him back together. The dogs took off his left arm. He lost all of the use right now of his right arm because the dogs literally ate the large and small tendons and muscles in his forearm. They reattached his left foot uh, 10 days later. My daughter and I walked into the hospital room and it was gone. They had to take it off. His right leg has been mauled as well because the foot was literally separated. 61-year-old Derek Felton spoke to Fox 2 in early October. He'd been cited for his dogs several times in the past. Those were misdemeanors. Now Detroit police are asking prosecutors to charge Felton with a felony. Why do you have so many dogs when I'm trying to figure out? Vicious dogs to death. The day of the attack, one of the dogs was shot and killed by a Detroit police officer. The next day, 11 more pit bulls were removed from the home. Those 11 were euthanized and tested for rabies. Police say they all tested negative. Bernstein says Felton saw the attack but did nothing to stop it, something the victim's sister says he shouldn't get away with. The prosecutor's office has not announced whether Mr. Felton will face that felony charge. If the Constantine family wins the lawsuit, they say that money will be used as compensation for the family and medical expenses. I'm Marielle Liu, Fox 2 News. Monica. We know he has a long road ahead to recovery. Thanks, Marielle.